Hi, my name is Miles Gibson, Ironspeed MVP and Senior Consultant with Milestone Software. Today I'd like to talk to you about Ironspeed Designer 7.1 and multi-level menus. So let's get started. For this demonstration I created a sample application using the Southwind Microsoft Access database. When Ironspeed generates the main menu for an application, it typically creates one menu entry for every generated page. Most often we will want to go in and edit this menu to make changes and move things around, perhaps adding new entries and taking others out. Here we can see the effect that, uh, of the menu that Ironspeed has generated. So let's continue on, jump into design mode and see, and see how we can change this. With the application explorer pane open, Navigate down the list until you see the Menu Panels subfolder. Underneath it will be one entry. In your application you may have more than one menu. The first menu generated by Ironspeed is always called Menu.ASCX. When I select this menu I can use my right click of my mouse and select Configure. This brings up the Menu Wizard. With the Menu Wizard open it's worthwhile to note that there's two main areas of this wizard. On the left hand side is a tree view that shows us a list of all of the menu entries. On the right hand side we can see the properties associated with each of these items. Let's insert a menu item. To do that I can select any menu item in the tree view and go right click insert menu item. With this menu item selected I can now go over to the Properties dialog and change the default title for it. I can also uh, change the graphic associated with this. If I have security enabled I can set security uh, at this point by clicking this ellipsis button and of course where required I can assign a URL to this menu item. Now in this case uh, in this simple example I'm going to move the customer's orders new menu item up to the top of the list. To do this I've got a couple ways I can do it. The first way is I can drag and drop this up and down as however I wish. Or I can go right click and I can go move up. Note the keyboard shortcut that says control shift up. So using control shift up I can move this up or down as I want to. In this particular case I'm going to move it all the way up whoops, all the way up to here. Now for my example what I really want to do is move everything to do with customers underneath the customers order. So again left click the item and you'll note that when you go to move the item up or down when it becomes adjacent to an existing menu item you'll see a black horizontal bar uh, appear. This will show you where in the tree that your menu item is going to land. So I'll do the same thing with orders. And of course now we see that these are located here. At the same time, while I maybe may want to add new items, I probably may want to delete items as well. I can merely select the item and go right click delete or select the item and press the delete key. Very simply a nice easy way to manage and maintain existing menus. If we now look at live preview it'll show us the change that we have from the previously generated example that Ironspeed did for us. With this situation we now with this wizard we now have the ability to be able to quickly and easily make changes to our multi-level menus. And there's our, there's our menu, which is very nice. For more information on this video or any other video articles that we've produced, please visit www.milesgibson.net or contact me directly via email miles at milestone.ca. Thanks for watching.